One and a two and a... Hey, you've got Daryl as a service for Regarding365. Uh, I've come across some interesting news uh, that, uh, watching the, the blogs, of course, in the uh, Microsoft tech community, uh, I subscribe to a few. I use a uh, platform called Feedly to bring them all in together. So there's a tip. And came across one from probably a, a blog that you're not following um, within the tech community, if you are, unless you're specifically going there, the Planner blog. And yes, there is some great news in there that combines some um, some things that we've been waiting to see within Microsoft Teams and Planner. I think you know what I'm talking about. So we, uh, for those of you, I will just brush over quickly. Planner, of course, is um, is its own app, um, and when you create a group, you can get a plan. When you plan, create a plan, you can get a group. Um, that experience is shared across Yammer, across Teams, and across uh, groups for Outlook. And uh, with uh, plans, um, you can also go into a, a team, and Teams, Microsoft Teams, have got channels to divide the, the kinds of work that you might be doing within your team. Each channel has been able to create a plan um, for quite some time. However, those plans are not surfaced into the uh, Planner web app. If you go to the full Planner experience in the web browser, uh, you were not seeing that up until today. Yes! Um, and I will make a comment too later about the mobile experience. But we actually have now access to the plans that we create in our channels in Microsoft Teams and now available in the, the web app. And this means that uh, eventually when the mobile app uh, experience uh, comes online, um, likewise, you know, to expose those plans that we have in Teams channels, then we really can start to use it as uh, a way of managing tasks within those Teams channels and um, and surface them all up into our, uh, what's it called, the My Tasks view of Planner. So we're going to have a quick look at a few things. Where did I come across this news? Yeah, it's reasonably visible. There we go. There's our blog within the uh, tech community. So do go in and follow the various different products that uh, may interest you. And dare I say it, if you're a... Um, an admin, um, an Office 365 admin, you probably should create a, a stream or rather a, um, an RSS feed into something like uh, Feedly to, to keep on top of some of these blog posts because there's a lot going on um, and this is a very easy way to keep up with it. So we've got um, some news there and it really was a brief announcement um, and I don't think the, uh, as you can see there, the uh, screenshot does it justice. Um, you know, so that's why I thought I'd do this this quick live stream. Uh, check this article out. I guess this goes off to let's have a look here. Probably goes off to a uh, post and support. Okay, so there's um, some more information there about um, getting into uh, Planner in Teams, and they've probably updated this to reflect the changes that you can now view these these plans in Teams. So what did I do to quickly test this out? Of course, I went into Microsoft Teams, but um, I guess as a reflex action. These days when I log in, I always go to portal.office.com and I've usually got the admin portal slash um, um, dropped in there. So um, as a quick note, uh, oops, that sh shoulder there, I have uh, dropped in a, a link or a card in the, this YouTube uh, broadcast that if you click on that, you'll see um, the episode for the Office 365 message into the week that was coming up. And we will discuss this in more, more detail with Dan um, next week. I don't see anything there at a glance um, around uh, this change in planner. So maybe it's coming. Um, we've got a blog post, so that's great. Uh, we'll see how we go. Uh, dived into plan, uh, rather dived into teams, um, and I tried to pick a, a team that I knew didn't have any plans in channels. Now remember, whenever we create a, a team or any kind of Office 365 group, we will get a plan anyway, right? So. Um, if we go up to here uh, and we add a, a new planner tab in our um, channel, this is just the general channel, I can look for existing plans and um, up until earlier, okay, this is my plan that I used to test, but I did have an engineering plan named after the team or named after the Office 365 group. And so I could connect to that. That was the plan that we could see um, within Planner and the Planner web app um, this whole time. Great. Um, but uh, what about the plans that we wanted to see um, in the different tabs? We couldn't do that. We couldn't see them in, um, 
in the planner web app so that's why I created the team status report now let's go back to here I have created it of course and it was I know you can see the time perhaps in my my system tray oh no my fat face is over the top of the clock uh, it is 10 58 a.m. here in New Zealand on a Saturday morning so I did create this uh, a little under um, half an hour ago so we've got our, our team status report this is the tab right here cool we'll launch that and there we go I've created you know a very basic few tasks because I wanted to be able to see these tasks um, within the planner web app so I've assigned a couple to some people I haven't done anything fancy with with buckets but clearly you can see this is a brand new plan and it's sitting in the general channel so here's the the, the drum roll in a sense uh, we go over to our planner hub and here it is recent plans the plan that I created and look I uh, oh, wish I had my zoom it tool here um, uh, over here underneath the name of the uh, report or rather the plan you can see where it lives it lives in the the engineering team and in the general channel and now we've got that full experience of the plan itself now something comes to mind here I haven't looked at it yet you know I should read instructions beforehand but I got so excited what if I go back over here within planner we have quite a basic experience uh, or rather within teams we, we have quite a basic experience of plan planner so um, this would be yeah I would make use of this go to website whenever you want to do anything more than just creating tasks dragging things around in buckets naming buckets um, and you wanted to view that plan in a slightly different way then you would just use this button here to open up that plan um, directly in the website and there we go oh, I've changed to pink was I pink beforehand what's up with the color changes <laughs> um, so team status report is green here and pink there anyway we've got the full experience of this plan within the channel um, you can see charts of course I don't have any details really there just apart from who's been assigned to what I haven't set any due dates but that's a that's a nice uh, great view there um, and of course the scheduled and unscheduled tasks and I could drag things around in buckets uh, let's have a do let's just do that actually uh, add a new bucket um, in progress That'll be good. I know that there's one already probably called that. We'll just drag that one over to there. Um, and we'll go over to Teams. Oh, look, there you go. Um, we have, oh, and you can see it. It's just updating as, as we speak. Because Teams, of course, um, is, is driven by the web in the background. And if you're using the desktop app, I expect that the, the live updates will happen um, as we speak there too. Uh, pretty cool. Right, uh, what else was I going to look at here? Um, so we've, we've moved things around and I just wanted to see my view right so sometimes I'm well I would like to see all the tasks that I'm involved in across all the plans that I um, am involved in too so going into my tasks um, there was a task that I had assigned uh, for um, a team status report now what was it again it was location booked for training so what I want to see here is in my tasks is there a task for me for location book for train there it is great so it's rolling up the tasks across all the plans that I'm involved in and those plans now can be um, within a channel within your Microsoft team so excellent excellent news I'm pretty happy about that um, I do make no apologies for the um, thumbnail that I used for this um, getting the, the news of this video out there I know that Justin Bieber is out of favor with a number of people but I do remember this ad back in uh, 2012 uh, when he was trying to sell proactive um, skin cleaning products or whatever it was and he said I love all my fans and I, it just it rolled off the tongue I just wanted to twist that around and say I love all my plans and I do I want to be able to use and access all my plans wherever I am um, so that is what's coming uh, keep an eye out for the changes around the uh, mobile application and when that does come out I'll I'll do a little um, 360 tutorial to, to show you what that's like wherever I am um, accessing planner and uh, the plans that are in my Microsoft channel my Microsoft Teams channels um, of course that will also roll out to um, uh, you know, iOS and Android and wherever you use the planner app so thanks for tuning in, um, and hopefully you're enjoying this good news with me. Uh, get into Planner, 
and uh, maybe you're using that now uh, to organize your team at least in a, in a simple fashion to organize your tasks and, and work your way through different phases of that work thanks for watching Thank <laughs> you.